hello everyone welcome back to our channel today we are diving into an essential topic for engineers researchers uh, phds students and basically anyone involved in modeling and simulation now the major question that comes to everyone's mind when they are starting is how to choose the right numerical modeling software with so many options out there, finding the best fit for your specific need can be quite overwhelming. If you ask the same problem to 5 people, there is a high chance that 5 of them will give different answers. So in this video, we will guide you through key factor to consider and introduce you to some popular software options that you might consider before jumping in in your project. Honestly, I did not find any such videos over the internet or any such guide that may help me as much as I thought it would. So I thought why not make a video about it so that at least someone get benefited from this. So let's discuss the factors to consider when choosing numerical modeling software. When it comes to picking the right numerical modeling software, there are a few important factors you should keep in mind. Firstly. Think about the type of problem you are trying to solve. Different software packages are tailored for specific type of problems, whether it's structural analysis, fluid dynamics, or multiphysics simulation. The right software will have the tool you need for your specific project. Next, consider the ease of use and learning curve. Some software packages are quite user friendly and comes with comprehensive documentation and tutorials, making it easy to get started. Others might have a steeper learning curve, requires more time and effort to master. But this is also relative because let's say you are working on a group and you are the fifth member of the group and four of them are already experienced in a particular tool. So even if the software might have a tough learning curve, the four of them might help you to get to the level that they need. So it might be easier in some sense. It is also crucial to access the software capabilities and features. Make sure it has the necessary solvers, pre and post processing tools and support for advanced simulation that you might need. Compatibility and integration is also key. You will want software that plays well with other tools you use like CAD programs and data analysis tools. Then there's cost and licensing. Software cost can vary significantly. So it's important to evaluate whether the licensing model fits your budget. Options range from one-time purchases to subscription-based models and even free open source software. Finally, don't overlook the community and support aspect. A strong user community and good customer support can be invaluable for troubleshooting and learning advanced features. Popular numerical modeling software overview. Now let's take a closer look at some popular numerical modeling software We'll discuss the key features, ideal application, and pros and cons. Note that these are purely based on my personal suggestion and experience. So it might be slightly different according to your perspective and view. First comes Comsol Multiphysics. Comsol Multiphysics is renowned for its versatility, especially when dealing with multiphysics problems. It offers a comprehensive shoot for tools for various physics simulation allowing you to couple different physical phenomena within a single model. Some of its standout features include extensive multiphysics capability, robust solver and user-friendly interface and customizable physics interfaces. It's ideal for coupled physics problems like thermal mechanical analysis, electrothermal simulation and fluid structure interaction. One plus side. Comsol is highly versatile with an intuitive GUI and strong documentation and community support. However, it can be expensive and resource intensive, which means you might need powerful hardware for large models. ANSYS is another comprehensive shoot for engineering simulation software covering a wide range of applications from structural mechanics to fluid dynamics and electromagnetics. Key features include a wide range of solvers, excellent pre- and post-processing tools, and a strong industry presence, and advanced machine capabilities. ANSYS is perfect for structural analysis, fluid dynamics, thermal simulation, and electromagnetic simulation. Its pros include being highly capable with strong industry support and scalable for large problem. The downside is that it has a steep learning curve for beginner and can be pricey. 
By the way, it also has a student version that you can download and try it out. Abacus is well known for handling complex nonlinear problem making it favorite in industry like aerospace, automotive and biomedical engineering. It has a robust nonlinear analysis tool, advanced contact and material modeling and comprehensive multiphysics capabilities. Abacus signed in nonlinear structural analysis, complex contact problem and composite material simulation. Pros include its excellence in handling complex problems, strong support for advanced material model and robust solver performance. The cons are that it's challenging to learn, costly and requires significant computational resource for large model. Next comes MATLAB. MATLAB is a versatile tool widely used for numerical computing and data analysis. Its powerful scripting capability make it ideal for developing custom algorithm and integrating with other software. It offers extensive numerical computing capability, a wide range of toolboxes, ease of scripting and integration with Simulink for system level modeling. Ideal applications include data analysis, algorithm development, control system and signal processing. On a pro side, MATLAB is highly flexible and easy to script with extensive documentation and a strong user community. However, it can be expensive, requires programming knowledge, and isn't specifically tailored for large-scale finite element modeling simulation. By the way, MATLAB can also co-work with other simulation tools such as COMSOL where basically you can model some result, get the feedback in MATLAB, do some system level modeling using Simulink, and so on. Those kind of complex compatibility can also be a thing that you might be interested. Next comes Python based tools. Now I'm not naming any specific package, but you can just Google and get a ton of different packages for different simulation. For example, for numerical analysis, you can use NumPy, SciFy. For post processing and data analysis, you can use Matplotlib, etc. They are generally open source, highly customizable and have extensive libraries and integrate well with other Python tools. These tools are ideal for research, custom application, educational purpose and developing new numerical method. The pros are that they are free and flexible with strong community support and easy integration with other scientific computing tools. The con include the need for programming skill, potential lack of comprehensive documentation and variable performance depending on implementation. Let us discuss about the different numerical tools and simulation software that are dominant in particular domains. So we'll roughly choose few of the domains and discuss about it. So let's start with structural analysis. First comes ANSYS. ANSYS offers robust finite element analysis capabilities with tools for static and dynamic analysis. The applications varies widely in aerospace, automotive and civil engineering for stress analysis and predicting material failure. Major strength include the comprehensive material library and strong industry support. Second comes Abacus, known for handling nonlinear and dynamic simulation, making it ideal for complex structural problem. Application include extensive used in crash simulation and analysis of composite material in automotive and aerospace sector. Next comes Comsol Multiphysics. Now in this channel, we have a lot of videos in uh, this software. It is strong in multiphysics simulation, allowing the coupling of structural analysis with other physical domains. Application include problem involving thermal stress or fluid structure interaction and so on. The major strength of this software is intuitive interface and versatile application. Now let me mention few open source option. First is Calcix. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. It is an open source FEA tool similar to Abacus suitable for structured analysis. Then we have Elmer FEM. It is an open source software capable of handling various physical phenomena. There are also Codaster developed by EDF for mechanical simulation, offering comprehensive capabilities. I will try to link all of them in the description. Next, if we talk about fluid dynamics, we have uh, ANSYS Fluent at first that comes to my mind. 
leading software for computational fluid dynamics providing advanced solver and turbulence model. Application include wide range of fluid dynamic simulation across industries. Then we have Comsol Multiphysics, again suitable for fluid dynamics, particularly when coupled with other physics. Application include multiphysics problem involving fluid structure interaction. And again, it's very useful when you are working on multiphysics problems. Then we have OpenFOAM. This is surprisingly very popular tool. Uh, even if you check the forums, there are a ton of users using it. It is a popular open source CFD tool. In fact, I think it is the most popular open source CFD tool that provides uh, extensive customization. And definitely in terms of community support, I think it has the highest number of active community members in social media and other platforms as well. Next comes Star CCM Plus. Known for its user-friendly interface and robust CFD capabilities used for complex fluid flow simulation in various industries. Now if we discuss about electromagnetic simulation, again we have the ANSYS HFSS. It has comprehensive electromagnetic modeling capability, widely used for designing antennas and high frequency components. Then we have Comsol Multiphysics, capable of handling a wide range of electromagnetic problem, especially when integrated with other physics domains. Then we have CST Studio Shoot. Um, it is a dedicated tool for this kind of simulation. It provides a specialized tool for electromagnetic simulation across different frequencies and applications. Next we have MATLAB. Useful for certain type of electromagnetic problem, particularly in research and development environment. Often used in developing custom electromagnetic algorithm and simulation. It has a strong scripting and visualization capability paired with Simulink and other co-work with different simulation tool and a large set of toolboxes. It is quite a powerful tool uh, in the domain. Now let's discuss about multiphysics simulation. Now when you are working on a realistic model, it is very unlikely that it will have a single physics interface. There's a very high chance that if you are working on let's say battery modeling, then you might have to also consider the thermals of it. If you are working on say lasers, you have to also study the heat that is generated that might change the optical property of the laser and so on. So multiphysics is a important domain that is required when you are working on realistic models. Now at first we have Comsol Multiphysics, the go-to software for seamlessly coupling various physics domain providing a intuitive interface for setting up multiphysics model. Now in application it is used extensively in academic research so as far as i know like if you just take like thousand research papers uh, i guess around 800 of them will have Comsol multiphysics in it something like that and even in industries that may require a multiphysics modeling Comsol could be a good tool to start with then we have ANSYS. It offers a strong multiphysics capability, especially for integrating structural, thermal, and fluid analysis. But uh, let me tell you, uh, all of the workflow for different tools might be completely different. So the multiphysics in Comsol Multiphysics is uh, quite different than the multiphysics that we work with ANSYS in terms of UI, in terms of file handling, and so on. Okay, then we have Abacus supports a uh, multiphysics simulation particularly in coupling the structural and thermal analysis and if you look at few open source option we have elmer fem a open source tool for multiphysics simulation allowing coupling of different physics phenomena then we have freefem a versatile open source software for partial differential equation suitable for complex simulations now let's discuss about optics and photonics and topics related to light. So first we have ANSYS Lumerical. Now it is specialized in photonic simulation offering tools for designing photonic integrated circuit and component. It is widely used in photonic industry for device design and analysis. 
Next, we have of the FDTD. It provides tools for simulating and propagating electromagnetic waves in complex structures using finite difference time domain method, or known as FDTD. It is used in designing and analyzing optical component and system. By the way, of the TD paired with Opti system could be a powerful tool. Uh, so it is a combined package by OptiWeb where you can model communication system uh, or network architecture, etc. Then if we talk about the thermal analysis, we have ANSYS. It provides a comprehensive thermal analysis tool for simulating heat transfer and thermal stress. And we have COMSOL Multiphysics. It allows coupling of thermal analysis with other physics domain, making it suitable for multiphysics problem. Again, as you know that COMSOL Multiphysics has the Multiphysics name baked in, in its uh, the name of the software. So definitely Multiphysics is the domain that they focus. So that is the thing. And also, if we talk about open source option, we can check the open form, open FOAM, that is a tool that is widely used. And also, you can check the Elmer FEM, it offers capability for thermal analysis in multiphysics simulation. So, these are pretty much few of the tools. Now, note that uh, these are not in order, and also, I haven't like covered all the tools that are there. So, for example, even in optics. Comsol Multiphysics is quite powerful in modeling the lens design and stuff. And also, I haven't mentioned all of them. So there are many other tools. For example, there is Altair Hyperworks. It is a robust shoot for simulation uh, in structural fluid, electromagnetics, etc. Then we have LS Dyna, SolidWorks simulation. Then we also have software such as SimCenter. Flow 3D, then we have Keysight Electromagnetic Simulation, then we have Stad Pro. We also have a popular simulation tool by Autodesk, such as Autodesk CFD. Then, in terms of optical system simulation software, we have OptiSystem, Zemax, Opti Studio, Ansys Lumerical, and so on. And in terms of chip designing, and electronic designing, we have uh, synopsis tools. It contains a suit of different tools. Uh, we have cadence such as Algro and PCB design. Then we have mentor graphics by Siemens and so on. And if your goal is to focus on AI and machine learning paired with finite element simulation, there are few online cloud computing tools that are starting up, but in any way you can get the finite element model result and use TensorFlow, PyTorch or MATLAB to actually train your model and uh, get results. So this is it. I thought why not make a video about numerical modeling software and tool. I think this was uh, fun and informative for you all. So. I hope you learned something new. Maybe you learned a new name of a particular tool that you might not have heard. Uh, do comment and share your thought. Uh, if you think I missed very important tool in any particular domain, you can always uh, comment and update so that others can follow too. Thank you for watching. Keep subscribe and do check my playlist for more videos. Thank you and have a nice day ahead.